How to structure your cleaning business proposals to maximize profits. Hi, Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com. Well, you know, one of the things that I found out as when I'm out uh, giving proposals to prospects is that often they'll tell me that, well, XYZ company is promising this and they're promising that. Well, you know, it didn't take long to realize that my competition was doing that only to get the account. Um, so, you know, they, they were going to promise that they're going to provide this type of service and that type of service and they're going to do these extras at no charge and so on and so forth and making all kinds of promises to the prospect. Well, you know, they would get the account uh, because the prospect thought that they were getting such a great deal only to find out in a very short time that, that they're not fulfilling those promises. So that's the number one thing on our list is when we're developing a, a proposal is that we want to make sure that any promises that we've given that we make sure that we provide that. So the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to tell why you do what you do. You know for us now it was because we would create uh, uh, good paying jobs that uh, was meaningful work and it also uh, helped the local community. Uh, that was our reason why we provided commercial cleaning. So make sure that you sprinkle that out throughout your proposal uh, to let people know why you do what you do. Something else you want to do is that you want to show how you're different. And many cleaning companies have a hard time with this. So, you, you know, give it some thought. What it is that really makes you different. You know, being bonded and insured, you know, that doesn't make you different. Um, you know, green cleaning, well, that doesn't make you different either because now that's really the standard. So really just take some time and think about what makes you difference. So, you know, uh, it could be that uh, you have uh, a low turnover rate, you know, for your employees. Uh, you know, we know that the cleaning industry average is, you know, uh, well over 300%. So, you know, boast about your low turnover rate, how you train your people. Uh, do you have an app that you're using? You know, many companies are using apps now for, um, their quality control uh, for the, the accounts that they're doing and they're also using it for communication. So, you know, if you're using that type of technology, you know, tell them about it. Tell them how you're different, how you're doing things different. And, uh, you know, some people what they'll do is that they'll, they'll actually uh, create games for their, for their cleaners. Well, what I used to do is I used to go ahead and I'd, I used to uh, uh, take a dollar bill and I'd put it underneath a mat or hide it somewhere and hopefully, you know, my cleaners would find it. Uh, if they did, they found that, and then I also gave them a bonus. Um, so, you know, you can do things like that. That makes you difference, and it really helps with the morale of, of the uh, team also. What you also want to do is tell about clients that use your service. So now you can do this in a number of different ways. Uh, obviously, you can, you can show reviews. Uh, you can show case studies, and that would probably be the, the best example if you, if you wanted to actually... Uh, talk about your current clients that are using your services, show, show the prospect some case studies. And again, you will sprinkle this in your proposal. Um, you know, maybe the number of square footage that you're cleaning. You know, that may be another thing. And another one is always using testimonials. And so let's say we're, we're uh, writing a proposal for a, a medical clinic. Well, then bring in some testimonials from the same type of accounts. So they can see that, oh, okay, they're over here taking care of XYZ uh, clinic. So, you know, they can probably do the same for us. Now, something else you want to put in your proposal is that you want to, you want to talk about how your service will impact uh, their organization. So, for example, let's say if, we, if it was a large company that you're giving a proposal on, well, you know that the, uh, the, the proper cleaning of their facility would actually improve morale. Because anybody that's, that's working in a, a dirty facility, you know, that wears on you. It just, it, and there's studies that have proven that, that uh, their productivity is lower. So that's one of the things that you can uh, uh, talk about. Now the other thing is, like for a small account, uh, it, may, it will probably also help for morale, but more importantly, it will be about first impressions. You know, so when they have visitors coming into their office, it's, it's clear that they take pride in their facility uh, and uh, the, the cleaning actually shows that, you know, especially when they go into the restrooms. And what you want to do is, you know, help that prospect, you know, 
picture what that would look like. If you can do that in your proposal, then then you're uh, uh, you're going to be able to uh, win the account. Now, the other thing that you want to do is you want to talk about customer satisfaction. And although you know a lot of people talk about that, uh, very few are any good at it. So, in some cases, you know what you might be able to do and. Uh, uh, about customer satisfaction, make some kind of a guarantee. And again, you know, put that in your proposal that you're going to guarantee the customer satisfaction or uh, you're going to refund the last month's cleaning. Or let's say they decide to, uh, they're not happy with your service and they decide to look for another cleaning service. Well, there again, your offer can be that, okay, if, if there ever comes a time that you decide to, to look for a different cleaning service, we will forfeit our last month's cleaning uh, invoice to you uh, so you can afford to go out and, and hire another cleaning service. Now that's a pretty bold statement but you know how many people are going to take you up on it especially if you back up things and take care of business. So you know it's very very important. Now one, one last thing I want to add uh, to this list is that another way for you to maximize your profits is if you can uh, do all-inclusive pricing. And here's why, why you do that. I actually did a video on this not too long ago but the reason you want to do that is because with all-inclusive pricing, that means that you're doing all the project work also. So you're, doing clean, you're cleaning carpets, washing windows, and uh, you know, uh, stripping and waxing floors, scrubbing ceramic tile, doing all those types of services. And we know that our, our special services, project work, whatever you want to call it, those are very, very profitable services. So whenever we can uh, include those into our proposal, that's how we can really maximize profits. So... Well, hopefully you found this uh, 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 helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Uh, you're going to find uh, many uh, videos that we've done on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until next time, we'll see you.